Seatbelt use in Virginia has climbed to more than 82%, an impressive number. However, when you consider about half of the fatalities in Virginia due to vehicle crashes have an unbelted person, the goal of 100% seatbelt usage is even more important. According to Mary Ann Raymond, Occupant Protection Director with the Virginia DMV, statistics show that seatbelt use for pickup truck drivers is particularly low. Evidence is starting to show to us that we see less people, less pickup drivers buckling up. So they tend to be our young men between the ages of 18 and 34, and they tend to be pickup truck drivers. Now we're not quite sure exactly why that is, but we now have enough data to tell us and enough observations. We're standing out on street corners looking and we have enough data now to tell us that we see a marked uh, difference between pickup truck users and say SUVs or minivan users. So we see that uh, pickup drivers are less likely to buckle up. Raymond notes that using your seatbelt in a pickup truck isn't just common sense. Pickups have their own set of dangers on the road. The pickup trucks themselves do represent a slightly different safety issue for us in that they ride a little heavier, top heavy. So the, the, um, the ability for them to roll over might be a little easier, uh, particularly since trucks weight differently when they have a load in the back or when they're not loaded. If they have a cover on the, on the bed or if they don't, that can affect how the truck drives and the dynamic of the truck itself. So it's really important to buckle up inside of a pickup truck because the rollover can be really dangerous. Buckling up some of the time, or what I remember, says Raymond, is like not buckling up at all. The biggest thing I can say to you is that uh, you are four times more likely to die outside your car than inside your car. So given that statistic and given the fact that a lot of crashes happen within a very small radius of our own home, it would make sense to get into the habit of buckling up every time, all the time, without fail. The importance of buckling up isn't just for drivers. Passengers in the front seat and back seat need to buckle up for more than the obvious reasons. And here's a couple of things. When you're talking about seatbelt use, it should include everybody in the vehicle. And here's why. Not the least of which is it's, it's very beneficial to each passenger. But particularly in the cases of, if we've seen cases like this too, where the driver himself, him or herself is buckled up, the passengers are not. The passengers actually become flying objects inside the cabin of the vehicle and kill the driver. With laws changing and kids getting older, sometimes it's difficult to know exactly what you should do. As we do take the safety of our children very seriously. All children under the age of 16 must be properly restrained, no matter where they sit in the vehicle, no matter who the driver is, no matter what kind of car it is. And a law enforcement agent needs no other reason to stop a vehicle than he or she believes that a child under the age of 16 is improperly or unrestrained. Now, I need to take that one step further because we've had, we've, we've changed our laws again for children a couple of years ago where we upped the age group for children in booster seats. All children under the age of eight must be in an approved restraint device, which means the booster seat or the child seat that they grow up with the toddler seat. Raymond stresses that using a seatbelt properly is critical in its ability to protect you in the event of a crash. Putting the shoulder strap behind your back or under your arm is a potentially fatal mistake. Proper use is this. The shoulder belt part, the shoulder harness, should come through the center of the chest across the center of the collarbone. The lap belt should ride low across the hip bones. Uh, and those are strength points. The reason that they're built the way they are is because our bodies are stronger in those locations. It is way easier to fix a broken collarbone than it is a broken neck. The, the seatbelt system is made to make contact on the strength parts of the body. The minute the shoulder harness goes under the arm, that's nothing but soft tissue there. And we know of cases where the seatbelt has basically severed, has, has severed the body. A few years ago, the Virginia Highway Safety Office began Click It or Ticket, an aggressive seatbelt enforcement campaign designed to reduce highway fatalities. Its goal is simple, to save more lives by convincing drivers and passengers, especially motorists at night, to always buckle up. Click It or Ticket takes a very simple pattern. It tells you that we're going to be out there on the roads. It actually then goes out on the roads and, and issues tickets or uh, violations and warnings and whatever. And then we follow up by, by saying, here's what we did. Every couple of weeks we do, we'll send people, our law enforcement community out to enforce all traffic laws. And let me make no mistake that people do understand that 
all traffic laws are enforced during these periods. Then we'll go back with our observational surveys and say, yay, we did a really good job. And in fact, in Virginia, we did a great job this past year. When we went back out after our Click It effort, we did find that um, Click It or Ticket did help us achieve the highest seatbelt use rate we have ever seen in the Commonwealth. When worn correctly, seatbelts have proven to reduce the risk of fatal injury to front seat passenger car occupants by 45% and by 60% in pickup trucks, SUVs, and minivans. By changing your behavior to include clicking your seatbelt every time you get into your car or truck, you may be saving your life or that of a family member or friend. For more safety tips or information on how to keep your family safe on Virginia roadways, click online to the Drive Smart Virginia or Farm Bureau Insurance websites.